Praise be to God. Do you want to receive healing today? Do you want to see miracles taking place? Then this could be that day. You are about to hear something extraordinary from our man of God, Pastor Chris. So make sure you stay on to listen to the end. On the 14th of August, the Rhapsody of Realities is themed, Don't Hope, Act Your Faith. Taking the opening verse from Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hope is a good virtue, but it doesn't change your condition. There's a difference between faith and hope. Hope is future, but faith is now. Understand it from this perspective. Jesus was prophesied as the hope of the nations. He was the hope of Israel. He was called the hope of salvation. In other words, if man would ever be saved, the Son of God would have to come. There would have to be the sacrifice for the sins of the world, and Jesus was that sacrifice. When John the Baptist saw him, he exclaimed in the book of John chapter 1 verse 29, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Now, Jesus came and fulfilled the plan of God. He was crucified in our place. He paid the full price for man's sin. And then God raised him up to give us the inheritance. Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Now that God has given us the inheritance through Jesus Christ, there is no reason to hope for it. Hope, which is Jesus, came and completely fulfilled everything that God sent him to give us and do for us. Hallelujah! Everything you could ever desire of God has been consummated, accomplished and granted you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! You now must act your faith. Don't say, I hope someday this sickness will leave my body. Stop hoping. Act your faith. If the condition must change, it's got to be by faith. Faith takes possession now. Hallelujah. Glory. That was powerful. Even right now, whatever sickness you might have in your body, act your faith now and command it to leave in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Now with all joyfulness, let us take this confession together. My faith is active and prevails now. In the name of Jesus, I walk in the light of my inheritance in Christ. In power and grace, living in divine health and supernatural prosperity I am victorious evermore because I live in and by the word Amen Now dig deeper into our message for today by studying these following scriptures and watch yourself go from glory to glory The scriptures given are Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16, 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 in the Amplified Classic Translation. Blessed be God! Keep listening and meditating on the message you heard today because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah! Just as you were blessed by the word that came to you, you are just one click away from giving someone's life a meaning by having this video shared and popping up in their news feed. So don't miss that glorious chance and share this with everyone you know. Once you've done that, 
like this video and tell others to subscribe to our channel to receive content they can't receive anywhere else. Blessed be God. We will see you again. Have a wonderful day and let your life be filled with testimonies. Amen. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.